Clifford, my big red dog. Clifford needed Emily, so she chose him for her own. And her love made Clifford grow so big that the Howards had to leave their home. Clifford's the best friend anyone could know. He's the greatest dog ever. I really think so. Clifford's so loyal. Clifford. He's there when you call. I love Clifford, the big red dog. So they packed up a family car and the Howards left the city. They moved to Birdwell Island and their many new friends. There to greet Clifford and Emily. Clifford's so much fun, he's a friend to us all. I love Clifford, the big red dog. can't come to the wedding with us. Time to go, Emily Elizabeth. But you know my cousin is allergic to dogs. <laughs> and do you take this man to be your husband? I... 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 Clifford and I are going to have a great time together. Right, boy? Ruff. Okay, Clifford, let's play. I'll race you to the lighthouse. Did you two have fun today? I did. How about you, Clifford? Well, it's getting late. Time for bed, you two. Okay, Dad. I sure hope Clifford likes the tent we made for him. <sighs> he likes it. Clifford, Emily Elizabeth is coming home tomorrow, and then we'll all play together. I miss Emily Elizabeth. Clifford, what's the matter? Hey, this is your first night away from Emily Elizabeth, isn't it? Oh! T-Bone? Pedro, do you hear that? What is it? Horace, what is that noise? 
noise. Oh! Uh, there's only one thing that sounds like that. Clifford. What seems to be the problem? Poor Clifford can't get to sleep. What's wrong, Clifford? Didn't you have fun with Charlie today? Well, sure I did. We had a great time. But now that it's bedtime, I kind of, well, I miss Emily Elizabeth. Oh! Sounds like Clifford really misses Emily Elizabeth. If there were only some way we could help him get to sleep. You know, when my daughter was little, I used to take her for a ride in my mail truck. You did? Yes. And as soon as I'd start driving, she'd fall right off to sleep. <laughs> Worked every time. That sounds like a great idea. It might work, but I don't think Clifford will fit in your tiny mail truck. No, but I know a truck that he will fit in. This works, Mr. Carson. It's so late. Poor Clifford must be exhausted. How does he look, Charlie? Hey, I think it's working. Looks like Clifford finally went to sleep, son. <laughs> He's not the only one. I think he's gonna be okay. I say we give up. That poor dog is never gonna go to sleep tonight. You know what just might work, Horace. What? I'll try anything. If you were to sing to him. Uh, anything but that. But you have such a lovely voice, Horace. Oh, please, Violet. Come on now, rock a bite, Clifford. Okay, okay. Hey, Clifford. Me, 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 me. Oh, big frog. <clears throat> rock a bye, Clifford, near your big tent. You won't fall asleep, the evening is spent. When, when Emily, Emily comes, comes home, home, we'll both give a cheer. cheer then crawl, crawl in our beds and sleep for a year. Come on, everyone, let's sing together. Rock a bye, Clifford, in your big tent. You won't fall asleep, the evening is spent. When, when Emily comes home, we'll all give a cheer. Then crawl in our beds and sleep for a year. <laughs> this seems to be working on everyone but Clifford. Missing Emily Elizabeth, aren't you? 
Well, that's okay. I kind of miss her too. But look at all these people, Clifford. We all really care about you. And we're all gonna stay right here with you until Emily Elizabeth comes home. Good night, Clifford. through the night without Emily Elizabeth. Clifford? What? Clifford, you made it through the night. Clifford! <laughs> Clifford! Woof! 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 <laughs> oh, it's great to see you too, Clifford. What is everybody doing down here at the beach? Clifford really missed you last night, Emily Elizabeth. So we all came down to try to help him get to sleep. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope he wasn't too much trouble. Not at all, Emily Elizabeth. It was kind of fun having a big sleepover with everyone. Wasn't it, Horace? Oh, yeah, fun. But we're all very happy that you're back now, Emily Elizabeth. <laughs> but no one is as happy as Clifford. Even though she was always very careful, Luna lost her favorite stuffed bunny. Her friends helped her look high and low, but the bunny was nowhere to be found. Knowing that Luna would miss her bunny, Speckle suggested that they make her a new one. And everyone was inspired with their own ideas. Reva went into the forest and made a bunny with pine cones and ferns. Darnell went to the creek and made a bunny of stones and shells. In the meadow, Ravi made a sweet-smelling flower bunny. And Speckle took some hay and cloth and made Luna a soft straw bunny. When they surprised Luna with her new bunnies, she had a happy surprise of her own. She had found her old bunny. And now she was even happier, because now her friends had bunnies of their own. And so they played and pretended for the rest of the afternoon, each enjoying their one-of-a-kind bunny. The end. That was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> Dog for a day. Today. Almost, Charlie. It takes a lot of work to run a restaurant trail. <laughs> yes! Two points! <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, look at Clifford! Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Dogs sure do have a lot of fun. <laughs> Yes, their lives are pretty carefree. Sure, free too. All done. Can I go now, Dad? Sure. Uh, just as soon as we mop up. <laughs> Those dogs sure are lucky. They never have to mop the deck. <laughs> Elizabeth. Hi, Charlie. 
Ready to ride bikes? I just have to finish this mopping. Looks pretty good, Charlie. Thanks, Dad. So can I go now? <laughs> of course you can. Unless <sighs> you and Emily Elizabeth would like an ice cream cone first. I think we can wait for that. I brought my ball. Want to play some soccer, Emily Elizabeth? Sure. to be a dog. What do you mean, Charlie? All day long, they just run and play. They don't even have to go to school. Yeah, but we do a lot of great things in school. We read books and sing songs. Do homework. <laughs> That's true. Dogs don't have to do homework. Or chores. I guess dogs do have a lot of fun. But I think I'll stay just the way I am. Sometimes I wish I were a dog. wished you were a dog? <laughs> Maybe, when I was young like you. They play, they eat, they nap, and everyone loves them. Oh, I wish I were a dog. Well, you can always dream, Charlie. Yeah, good night, Dad. <laughs> good night, son. Charlie, time for breakfast. I had the weirdest dream last night. I dreamt I was a dog. Ruff, ruff. Are you trying to tell me something, buddy? Ruff, ruff. I know what you're trying to say. You're hungry, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's my good dog. Well, I better get to work. See you later, Charlie. Charlie, you don't have to do chores. You're a dog. Go on to the beach and play with Clifford. No chores? Go play with Clifford? Wahoo! I love being a dog! Hey! Look at me! I'm a dog! <laughs> Charlie, is that you? Yeah, it's me! And I'm a dog, Clifford! I'm a dog! Yes! Wow! That's great! Watch this, Clifford! I can scratch my ear with my foot! Wait till I show everyone at school! School? You can't go to school, Charlie. You're a dog! That's right. I don't have to go to school. I win! You won this time, but wait till I get my bicycle. Okay, let's 
Let's race! Uh, Charlie, dogs can't ride bikes. Now you tell me. Okay, so dogs can't ride bikes. They can play basketball, can't they? If I could just get a hold of it. Popped it with your teeth, huh? <laughs> hmm, maybe basketball isn't such a great game for a dog to play. Maybe not. I know. Let's play soccer with Emily Elizabeth. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Over here. I got it. What, what's this? <laughs> Charlie, bring that back. Sorry, Charlie. You can't play with the ball right now. We're having a practice. <laughs> Sorry, this practice isn't for dogs. We have a big game this afternoon. Why don't you and Clifford go play ball down at the beach? Why don't they let us play, Clifford? I'm good at soccer. I know you are, but dogs can't play on the team. It's against the rules. Hmm. Maybe being a dog isn't such a good idea after all. I thought you really wanted to be a dog, Charlie. I thought so too. But now I'm not so sure. Being a dog is great. Dogs can race on the beach and dig really big, deep holes. That's cool. But kids get to be on soccer team. Dogs can chase their tails and roll in the sand. I know. But kids can ride bikes and read books and talk about cool stuff with their parents and... Okay, okay. Kids get to do some pretty great stuff. But dogs can wag their tails and bark and jump. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> okay, okay. Being a dog is a really great thing for you, Clifford, but I kind of miss being a kid. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, Clifford. Okay, see you tomorrow. We can dig for bones and play fetch. to do. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> well, here comes Charlie. Ruff, ruff, <laughs> it's good to ruff, see you ruff, too. Ruff, ruff. No, no, buddy, I can't play. I have too many chores to do. You go on and play with your dog friends now, huh? finally woke up. Let me do that for you, Dad. You want to do chores? Sure. Dogs don't do chores, you know. <laughs> well, that's true. They don't. It's great to be a dog, but it's also great to be a kid. <laughs> Are you okay, Charlie? You don't seem yourself this morning. No, Dad. I am myself this morning. <laughs> and being myself is pretty great. that it's important to try new things. That's how you learn. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is believe in yourself. Hiya, T-Bone. Want to play ball with Clifford and me? Sure. I get better at this game every time we play. Okay, then. Let's play. <clears throat> can I try that again? I know I can do it this time. Okay, here it comes. I did it! <laughs> I hit it! I remember the first time we played, you couldn't hit the ball at all. I knew that if I just kept working at it and doing my best, I'd get better. 
So let's keep playing. Believing in yourself helps you to try your best and to keep on trying. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is believe in yourself. <laughs>